Hello, how is it going? It is Fake Coming at you with another Legends of Runeter video. A few days ago, I shared a guide on uh, Fizz and Draven. Just want to let you guys know that the deck has been slightly updated, and I also updated the uh, deck code and deck list on that video. Be sure to go check out the guide, it's still got lots of relevant information. But today, I want to play some more of the Fizz and Draven, my pal Faint HD's deck. Super cool deck, and now it's getting pretty optimized, and I can recommend it for ladder for sure now. So not much has changed here, we've still got the similar elusive strategy, but we're just chucking in like some powerhouse cards, which unironically is Crimson Disciple, just as, just as a body for buying a little bit more chip damage. The one damage from this compared to the two kind of sucks, but in this deck in particular, that one damage can go quite a long way. With the Demolitionist package and Transfusion, these are all going to kind of just help stabilize the early game a little bit and get some chip damage while we set up for the elusive strategy and a single copy of fucking Bubble Bear. This is, this is actually no joke. When we were first going over the deck earlier in the days, me and Faye were actually, like we said, we said Bubble Bear. <laughs> we question marked it because there's not many elusive units within these two regions outside of like some of the common ones towards the late game. But what we needed, what we needed was like another elusive unit, just something, something big. And this one has six HP and like, because we're buffing the attack so much, the six HP on this is kind of like quite useful. And you can actually block some other elusive units the one copy of Bubble Bear, uh, Bubble Bear is pretty unique. Um, if you don't want to run Bubble Bear, you don't have to. You can put in like another transfusion or something. But yeah, we're also running a couple copies of Pick a Card. After Swim had checked out the deck, he had uh, been playing around with this card. I actually recommended this card to Faint as well. I said, hey, Pick a Card team might be pretty good. He was on the sideline about it. But now I think we're both a believer in Pick a Card. And I think it just provides a lot more gas for when you need to fix up your combo. You might every now and then discard some expensive cards but not too often i think it's worth it half the time the rest of the deck pretty much looks the same let's go have a few games you guys have a fantastic day if you enjoyed the video don't forget to leave a like and um also thanks for the thousand subscribers guys it means the world to me bye bye oh this is great especially if we're not running maker rain we can just set up an elusive board and then like kind of just swing him down in one turn uh this is gonna be full mulligan I do want to look for the one and two drops, or mostly Fizz. That's incredible. There's no punish for playing it, other than um, if he runs Mega Rain, he just opens up with it next turn. I should still play the Fizz though, in case of um, him not having a one drop, so we can push two damage. Chip damage is relevant. I'd be shocked to see him just go Mega Rain here. Yeah, we should not be blocking here. I just have to pass. I need like... Yeah, we can play normal. The, bo the, the bad boy, the one and only Narwhal. I could have also used Decimate this turn, but I think I need to like... Kind of develop a little bit, just to protect my face. You can also use the Noxium Fervor. That won't be necessary. I'm actually going to use the Imperial Demolitionist here to set up a wider board. I might use the uh, Noxium Fervor. Do I kill him next turn if I go aggressive here? I think I might be able to kill him next turn. I'm be taking a lot of damage here. I can block with the um, Imperial Demolitionist. And probably just block into the Butcher. Yeah, I legit need to kill him next turn though. I'm on a clock after that Noxian Fervor play. Okay, we should buff the uh, zap spray fin here. We 
can go double. Double Elixir of Wrath into the Zab Spray Fin makes the most sense. I don't think there's a counterplay here. He can um make it rain to clear the Fizz. That's going to be a bit uh shit, but that's all good. They sometimes don't even play it because they feel baited. Now, I'm legitimately convinced I can just literally play like Noxium Fervor. And then put up some safety blockers. And if that doesn't work, I can just play, um... I can just play Decimate. That's like an extremely favorable matchup. Like, insanely favorable. You have no idea. So the only elusive unit this person has is Ezreal. And Ezreal is actually kind of annoying. Do I keep double normal? It looks so wrath. Shit, I think I am. I think I am. I'm gonna kill this guy really fast. Oh, the the triple narwhal handed, un un unfathomable, uncomprehendable, abysmal. Uh, he's probably got something here. He's just outplaying me with the pass. I'm still going to develop the Golden Narwhal, even if he has a unit that can clear it because of reasons. Okay. How do I, how do I best do this? I think it's double Narwhal time and then probably Brothers Bond. I doubt this person has double flock, right? I can go for the Brothers Bond. I could also just let the attack go. And see what he does. Okay. Just a static shock there. No like ravenous flock or anything. Huh. Why did I play this? So I can trade into it. Genius. I can probably commit this resource. And he can't clear it too. All part of the plan, guys. So now I don't even need to play pick a card. Actually, I think that worked out really well for us, even though it look, looked like kind of a mistake. Huh. I'm definitely investing into this open attack. Um, I think, I think I'm supposed to like put a little bit of resources in here. If that makes sense. But like he might just let the attack go through. Maybe that's okay then. I think that's that should just be fine. Most likely like he would let the attack go through. He might also rummage, which puts me in a spot where I can kind of like play something now, doesn't it? Oh wow, I can brothers bond and that's huge. Okay, we'll just do that for now. See what he kind of does here. Holy shit, that's huge. That's huge for us. It's Draven time. <sighs> yeah, I think it's pick a card. And we pick a card, the Elixir of Wrath here. We're doing this to try and like fish for like Noxian Fervors and Decimates. I'll keep Demo on hand for pushing some damage. Like anything's pretty good here. Yeah, we're probably... Yeah, we're probably just going to play the Wayfinder. Make use of any elusive card that's about to go down. Wayfinder is pretty sticky for him to deal with as well. Unless he pre-damages it for like Noxian Guillotine. So the transfusion is not fleeting, so I'm not going to waste it. I'm just gonna abuse the brother's bond. He now knows he has like the means to clear the wave finder with demo beam. That's fine. Okay, 
Okay, let's go for the demo. I think we got him. I think if I go for the Noxium further now, it means that he can't. Ravenous Flock is not opened up for him. And it also puts him into a spot where he's forced into Get Exciting. Yeah, using Get Excited onto the Impure Demolitionist. So this play gets countered by exactly what I'm about to do. So he, he can't use Ravenous Flock. He can um, double Mystic Shot, but that still wouldn't help because we have the transfusion for. Disciple. So as you can see with some of the cards have changed since the deck guide, which I do remind you to go check it out But most of the tips will still be the same Disciple definitely proving like it's worth with transfusion and stuff in this deck for more buffs onto the elusive units And you just set up you set it up get as much chip damage as you can I think that matchup I could have played a little bit more aggressively Like I had opportunities where I was opened up to push more But I was pretty chill when it come down to the wire, but we still won Good place, good day, see you later.